You'd think most customers would be happy about a price cut, but you profiled a guy who literally bought his Model 3 days before or maybe a day before uh, the price was cut, thousands of dollars. Tell us what happened. Yeah, it, he bought a Model 3 fully loaded, the Performance Edition, $68,000 at the end of last month, the very end of last month, because he knew the tax credit, his dealer told him the tax credit was going down in July. Well, then comes this month, and Elon cut the price of that car by more than $6,000. So if he would have bought it this month, even if you factor in that the tax credit changed, he still would have saved $4,500. So he's fuming mad. So talk to us about how this is renewing concerns about demand for the Model 3. Of course, it's, it's in part potentially tied to the tax credit, but what about demand in general? Right. You know, Elon Musk has very high expectations for sales of this model, so he's had a series of price cuts throughout the year, which has sort of confused and frustrated consumers. The, the gentleman that I profiled talked about how one of the reasons, this is the third Tesla he's bought, and one of the reasons he buys them is because of the price certainty. He said unlike other dealers where they're bargaining on price, he felt confident that the guy buying the car behind him wouldn't get a better deal than he did. Well, that's not what happened this time so he said this shakes his faith in Tesla so uh, you know meantime the the, the prices uh, in China what's happening there as the company builds its Shanghai factory well they're trying to build it up and that Shanghai factory is critical to Elon meeting his sales goal of a half, bil half billion cars this year. That's a very uh, hard goal, a stretch goal, they, you might call it. The analysts don't see it happening, but if they don't get the plant up and running in China, there's no hope.